Yo, what's going on everybody? Permafade here. We just uh, got to Micro Center here in Tustin, California. We're about to go pick out a bunch of PC parts for a new PC build. Content creation machine we were using took a dive on us, no longer with us. So we're about to go build a new one. It's been a long time since I've seen like what's good, what kind of computer parts I should get. So I haven't done a lot of research. We're about to just go inside and uh, you know see what they have. So let's go. Well, we definitely... Should we get a new PC case or should we leave the same one? Huh? We're about to go see the parts right now. I, I do want to go with the, the 1200. This is the newest one. Uh, yep. 12700K, 12 core processor. Yeah, let me do that one. Yeah, let me and, get a key real quick. Okay, right all right, thank you. way I recommend Ryzen is if you bump it up to this one, to the 9. To the 9? Yeah, but then I, but then, a lot more expensive. I mean, that's not that much more expensive than that, right? But then we're not talking the not motherboard and... Uh, um, well, what happens, the motherboards on these tend to be um, a little bit more expensive. On the Intels? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. But this is going to have more cores, so it's going to so help for rendering, for like, rendering. Like, I do a lot of like photo rendering, video rendering, so yeah. you're saying for, for that instance, go with the 9. I think so. Let me, let's pull up the specs real fast. Let me yeah. do, because um, these, these have been around for a while. These yeah. are brand new. So the yeah, was, that's what I was looking really at. Good. I was looking at getting the brand new one, just then, to. Yeah, what's nice about this too, is it's a new socket type. So if you wanted to upgrade your computer, um, yeah. you're gonna be able to upgrade it for years with the socket type. This one, that's literally the last one. Like they're not gonna be making any more chips of these. See, 10%. 10 more on single core performance so for oh, like games, yeah, yeah, yeah that's gonna definitely be better but for workstation use oh no look even for workstation use even for workstation yeah, use even for workstation use for 12700 is pretty much beating that okay i do um okay. my last build yeah i have like i'd spend like 500 dollars on the motherboard uh, it was like the asus maximus or something like that so and i don't want to spend i don't want to yeah yeah i don't want to spend that much money this time on the motherboard i feel like it was overkill um yeah something more on the on the budget side but yeah yeah i don't want to get low budget but i don't want to get high end either i want something that's gonna it's gonna serve its purpose and it's not gonna take a shit on me three years three years down the road um this one would be pretty awesome did you want wi-fi and bluetooth on the board i don't need wi-fi and bluetooth okay i mean the bluetooth is plus but um yeah i do direct connect Dude, this one, this one's 180, $180, and it's a Z chipset, so you're going to be able to overclock it. Okay. And, yep, they're solid boards. Do you have one on that price range that's Asus? I'm a little biased towards MSI a little bit. Um, you like Asus a little bit better? Um, yeah. Yeah, I do, too. I mean, Asus... I mean, Asus if, if I could get one around the same price, I would definitely take an Ace. On well, no, the... the, the Asus, the like, Asus like two-something? Asus is going to be, mm, like, $40 more. Yeah, let's check it out. And um, oh. on the PCI slots, a 4.0 or 3.0 on these? Or does oh, it even matter? They're gonna be all 4.0s. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, um, so yeah, it's the cheapest one, 240, and then, uh, you know what, we're sold out. We might have some on clearance. Um, this tough right here for 290, but see, that's a that's a big difference in price. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, for that one that's 180, is that, and how much better? Want? how much better is this one? If you I'm paying hundred dollars more. If you definitely are doing overclocking, I'd go with Asus because the, yeah. the interface and the BIOS I mean, is definitely. I feel like I feel like with these, with it's a brand new chipset. I feel like overclocking on a workstation is like un, not necessary. I mean, you will get some benefits out of it for sure. But honestly, like nowadays, I don't even mess with overclocking. I don't have time for all that. You want me to see if I can find this clearance one because it's gonna be um, one uh, one ninety one. Yeah, let's do that one. Yeah. Let me, let's see. Let's go see if I can find it. Should be right over okay. here. Okay. Uh, let me just um, grab all these parts. I'll throw them in this cart right here. Okay. Hold on to that one. Mm, sure. Thank you. Okay. You guys want to walk around a little bit while we wait? What? There's nothing here. <laughs> Watch out, baby.
There we go. Um, you know, I'll just have all these waiting for you up at the front. Um, let me get your first name. Oh, you said it's John, right? Yes. It's gonna break and open. Okay, so yeah, when you're ready to rock and roll, just show that to the cashiers and I'll have, the, I'll have it all. Okay. Uh, all those small parts waiting for you up there. All right, thank you. Thanks. We got a whole aisle full of fans. Thermal pads. Storage drives. They got it all right here. The Oculus? Yeah. Your cousin has one of these. No. Your cousin has one of these. No. Come on, Zoe. Show me what. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. The whole thing? Yeah. That's pretty cool. She has a computer too. She, she showed us what's it called? Her room. And her, oh, her room? Yeah. That's cool. You can play. Wait, 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 wait. I think it's broken. Get ready. Go. Right there. Okay. So how does it start? Go sit down. Don't touch that. Slowly, turn, turn. Go onto the track, go onto the track. Don't touch that, mama. You don't touch that. Don't touch that, mama. Control it. You're not supposed to push it down all the ways. <laughs> That's cool, huh? Should I get should I get that one or this one? What? Oh let me see. Oh no, not me. I know, right? That it made for some good content? Damn. All right, we're good. Just for the. <laughs> I don't know. That's it. We're good. All right, we're good. Yo, what is going up, y'all? I just wanted to make a quick little video outro, if you would. Every time I build, every time I build a new computer, uh, people always ask me why I go with the processor that I, I go with. So I just thought I'd make a video, you know, to end to end this video, um, just to give a little information of why I always choose Intel over AMD when it comes to my workstations. All right, so the number one reason why I choose Intel over AMD is because my workflow consists of more single core demand, performance demand. So Intel has always been known to be single core driven. Um, AMD, they're really good at being able to have that multi-core performance. But um, like I said, my workflow consists of Photoshop, Premiere, and Helicon Focus, if I'm pronouncing that right. And that's a focus stacking software that I use. You know, all those programs favor more single core performance. So people ask me what processor to buy or they'll ask for advice. And it, I always tell them it, it depends on what what they're trying to achieve with the, with the build. What, what kind of workflow are they going to be doing? Are you going to be doing 
you know, 4D renderings, and something that's going to consist of really high demands, or you're just going to do, you know, browsing the web, playing some video games, and maybe like Photoshop here and there. AMD, if I wanted to compare, let me give you a comparison. Um, I could have gone with the AMD, and to get the same performance I got from my i7, I would have need to buy the Ryzen 9. And the Ryzen 9, those motherboards are more expensive, and the RAM for those costs more money versus uh, Intel. So the reason why I did that is because, you know, let me tell let me tell you let me tell you something. Okay. So if you're if you're building a computer and there's a processor that's been on the shelf for over a year and the new processor just came out and it's only been on the shelf for a month, I would always recommend going for that product that's only been on the shelf for a month cuz with computers and processors Every six months, they're coming out with better ones, and they're going to outperform the old ones. So, you might be spending forty dollars more, or you might be even saving forty dollars, fifty dollars, and you're getting more bang for your buck. I want to say, and not only that, but you're future-proofing your your build if you buy the newest processor, the newest motherboard. Because then, if Intel, for example, comes out with the processor three months down the road, six months down the road, I can then buy that processor and throw it in the motherboard that I have right now and you know you can't do that for for Ryzen Ryzen right now they have their Threadripper um, I highly it's an AM4 I highly doubt when they come out the new gen it's gonna have the same socket type for the motherboard so then they're gonna make you buy new RAM new motherboard and new processor and you just don't want to deal with all that alright I hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you got some good information off of it I, I enjoyed recording the whole process and putting it together. I just finished editing the whole thing. So I just wanted to make this quick little outro to explain why I chose, you know, my Intel over AMD. Stay tuned for my next video and peace out.